Hi, in this video I'll show you how you can use Textiles in Storyline 360 to determine the look and feel of text more specifically in your next e-learning project. Hi, I'm Mark Spermon from Purport Online Learning where I teach you how you can create e-learning modules yourself with Articulate Storyline. And are you new here? Then don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the bell notification icon so you won't miss any of my upcoming videos. Are you ready? Then let's get started. In all the versions of Storyline, you could already use a theme font that you can find under design. Theme fonts to define um, your heading and body fonts in your e-learning module. But if you used more than two fonts in a module, or you would uh, create titles with bold and a certain uh, color, you couldn't define it until now with the textiles functionality in Storyline 360. And the textiles functionality can be found if you go to your home ribbon. Let's select a text here. And you see here that there is now your textiles options. As you can see, you have the option to uh, determine uh, four heading texts, two custom texts, for instance, for links or other stuff, and uh, your, your body text uh, called your normal text here. So with textiles, it's very easy to uh, yeah, link your textiles to text boxes on your slide. For instance, if I select my text here and I go to uh, a heading, you see that the text will change and now the, the, all the text in this text box uh, has the heading one text style attached to it. Uh, and if I use the heading one text style to hold my module and I later on um, adjust the heading one text style, all the text that are uh, attached to heading one will adjust it automatically and you don't have to do it by hand. So this will um, yeah, can save you a lot of time when developing or uh, adjusting your e-learning module. And if you hover over your text style here, you can see that heading one has the font uh, Oswald Light with a, a, a font of 24 pixels. So you can see what the uh, properties are of your text style. Now, let's see how you can define the text styles in Storyline 360. Now the easiest way to do this is to create a text box and um, yeah, specify the text box so how you would like that your text style uh, should look like. So you uh, define the font, um, the, the font height, if it's bold, italic, underlines, and if your uh, font uh, or your text style has, to, has a specific color, for instance I chose red here. Now I selected the text and if I go now to my text styles, go to heading one and I choose update style from selection, you see this uh, text box says now here heading one. And if I go to heading one, you see there's this Oswald light 20 pixels um, and bold. So and the next step is to uh, applying a text style. So let's create a new text box and I type in I have to type it in right title for instance now you see uh, a text box uh, when you create it it's set to normal text uh, standard now, if I want to create a text box uh, yeah and I want to attach heading one to it what I can do is I select all the text go here to my text styles go to heading one and say apply style heading one and you see that this text box is now heading one you can um, style uh, different paragraphs. So for instance, I could style all the text here, but what I ca can do in Storyline is select only the first paragraph, go to my text styles. Uh, for instance, for this example, choose heading two. And you see that now only the first paragraph has heading two text style, and this has still the normal text text style. And in Storyline, there's also the option to reset a text style. So for instance, if you made a mistake or you want to start over again, you can uh, reset your text styles to standard formatting. So to do this, go to your text styles and for instance, to heading one, if you click here, reset style, 
you see it's set to the standard formatting and all the texts in your um, a project will now have the new standard one uh, look and feel that you attach to the textile standard one. Now some tips to use the textiles um, yeah, in your next e-learning project. For instance, if you want to change the, the font of all the textiles, now it's Oswald Light. If I want to change it um, in one go, I don't have to change all the textiles separately. What I can do is I go to design, go to fonts. If I choose here, edit to my font team, and for instance, says here Oswald Light, it has to be, um, what have it, I have this Prada. You'll see all the headings will be now Prada. And if I go to uh, textiles, you see that the headings are now a Prada instead of Oswald. So I don't have to manually change uh, each heading separately. And another tip to save time with your textiles is to apply them to your slide master and feedback master. Uh, that's the easiest way. And you can manually edit on the placeholder for the text on your layout. And finally, if you need to override a text style on a content slide in your course, you can simply edit the text on that slide. So the hierarchy of your text styles inheritance is one, the slide master parent, two, slide layouts, and three, content layouts. Now, I hope you uh, have an idea how you can use text styles in your next e-learning project. That will save you lots of time when working with texts. Do you have any questions about embedding your Articulate Storyline course in WordPress or about Articulate Storyline in Common? Then place a comment below these videos and I promise to answer it. And if you want to create great engaging yearly in Articulate Storyline, make sure that you get my free step-by-step -step guide on how I create e-learning in Articulate Storyline. And I know for sure that it will help you because it describes my whole process that I use for every e-learning module in Articulate Storyline that I built. And was this video useful to you? Then hit the like button below. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the bell notification icon so you won't miss any of my upcoming videos.